So let's talk a little bit more about muscle movement. Each textural layer of our body has its own characteristic movement qualities, and we've been talking about them step by step. How about the muscles movements? Well, we mentioned when we were talking about muscle properties, about its contractility, and that it has a kind of inherent expressiveness to it. That expressiveness, right, can be described in terms of joints and joint action. So muscle tissue spans across joints. It's a very characteristic quality. We don't really have muscle tissue that just starts here on a bone and ends here on a bone. Because if it were contracting, what would happen? <laughs> Nothing in particular. It's cool. No, the muscles cross the joints. They cross the joints. Wherever there's a joint, muscle tissue crosses it, so that when that muscle tissue contracts, it moves the joints, right? So that's, and then comes the expression. So that's one of the basic features of muscle movement, is that in crossing a joint, it enables expression of the skeleton in space to do all kinds of wiggy things, okay? Or socially proper things. Now, muscle movement also has an intrinsic quality. What do I mean by that? Intrinsic kind of means an inside quality. So in order for that across the joint movement to happen, there has to be more microscopic movements of the tissues. So for instance, if we have two named muscles next to each other going in different directions in a given behavior acting on their mutual joints, they have to shear and slide relative to each other. So that's very different, that type of movement, than the contraction of the fibers across the joint, making your bones go through space. This movement is intrinsic, meaning inside the muscle layer. We have all kinds of movement happening. It's very beautiful to watch, actually, to see the differential movement of different groupings, fasciculi, or bundles of muscle cells moving relative to each other. And this goes all the way down inside a bundle to the very neighborly partnerships of single muscle fibers moving relative to each other. So every one of them has its sort of perifascial wrap and say the motor neur neuron here is firing and I'm heading out this way and this one didn't fire. And so in order for them, if they were bound to each other, well, when this one fired, this one would get pulled with it. It would get dragged. And this does happen in certain spasticity disorders where a single motor nerve uh, partnership fires and it drags other tissue with it and you get a flailing movement rather than the liquid uh, you know, easy movement that we're used to um, enjoying in our, in our lives. So intrinsic movement, right? We have the sort of perifascial shearing within the muscle tissues. And then expressive movements where those actions at large are crossing joints and generating movement through space. So little, little thoughts on muscle movement. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.